So this is my version of the AMZ guitar pickup simulator that is designed by Jack Orman. And what this does is it simulates the guitar pickup in terms of inductance, capacitance, and DC resistance. Now, this little knob here controls the amount of DC resistance, and you can see is as we turn this up towards more, the highs are attenuated a little bit. This is uh, being fed by approximately 880 hertz do-it-yourself audio oscillator that I'll have a video on in the future. So that's what this knob does. And I also went ahead and added a tone control on the side. So you can hear what effect that has. And I also have two inductors inside of here that I can have either just one or put another one in series with it to get a higher uh, inductance. And then I can change the DC resistance to something more in the humbucker range. This is a simulated humbucker basically. And then I have a bypass switch so you can hear it with, without this being in the circuit. So you can hear that that's quite a lot louder signal there. So that's, I thought this would be maybe a little more accurate to simulate humbuckers. That's why I did the, the two inductors inside. And normally I kind of have it, I'm a strap player, so I have it set at about 7K, which is about the DC resistance of a, of a Seamer Duncan single coil pickup. And a mine measure just under four Henry's, so that's perfect. And uh, so now I'll show you the inside of it. All right, so before we show you the inside, I'm just gonna show you, I put on the sides with a label maker, signal in, signal out, tone control. Uh, the tone control, like I said earlier, was kind of an addition I wasn't originally going to have it in there, but I decided it'd probably be a good idea. So I'm glad I did it. Um, but it was kind of a challenge getting all this stuff in here. So what I have going on here is, first of all, here's our pot for the 25K pot for the DC resistance. Then I have an inductor here which is the secondary inductor. The primary inductor is this one, goes through the switch. Um, so this is the bypass switch. So it would go ordinarily, but the four Henry setting would go through this coil and then, and then through the DC pot and the, the tone pot side armed off that and then to the output. Now, when I, tr when I switch it to seven Henry's, it goes through this, this coil and this coil, and then to the DC resistance pot and to the output. So this way I can simulate single coil. If I have both of them, I can simulate a humbucker. These are my capacitors to ground. Um, of course, my tone control pot. You can see stuff in here is quite tight. Uh, I was pretty proud of myself though for actually getting all this stuff in here. Now, as far as the inductors are concerned, these are Mauser 42TMO 18s. I believe the Jack Orman schematic shows 42TMO 19s. Both of these have a 25K winding, so I think they're about the same in terms of DC resistance and inductance. I was primarily concerned with the inductance. So I measured it with my meter. You know, these measure just under four Henry's. When they're in series, they end up being a little less. It ends up being about seven. And I've measured some of my humbuckers have around five, six, seven Henry's. So I figured that's good enough for simulating humbucker just for testing, so.
So there you have it. That's the inside. And um, that's packing a lot of stuff in there, isn't it? <laughs>